Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So I am here to do like a very long time, you know, update on the creativity sampler. I haven't been updating it lately. I don't know why. Um, so if you're new here, so if you search creativity sampler on my channel, you'll find a bunch of videos associated with this book. So this is a book that's very special to me from my childhood um, that I turned into a book where I could document kind of snips from my projects. So this little picture of me and just some things about my favorite book that I, when I was a kid and then what I do is I do like little stamp cutouts and um, also document my digital kits from my Patreon um, and I, I mainly document like my work here, my journals. So it's been a little while since I've updated it. The last one was Strange and Beautiful Technology I think that I updated. So yeah, I'm a little bit um, behind. So I want to document today Nedra. I want to put some of the leftover bits and bobs from Nedra into my creativity sampler and try to get back in the habit of um, doing this because I really want to have this kind of a special book. So the first thing I want to do is I want to start out using um, just a page from Nedra with the name Nedra showing at the top. Um, and I think that will be just a nice start. So I will go ahead and I will glue that in. Yeah, it's, um, I am busy with about a million things right now. So I just wanted to take a little bit of a, <sighs> an exhale, cause I've got lots of stuff I'm working on. I, um, I'm actually doing this before I've even filmed the flip through for Nedra, but I'm hoping to do that today as I'm recording. I know these videos are going to be a little out of order, but I think it's totally okay. I don't think it really impacts your overall experience um, watching them. So yeah, then I'm going to add a little bit of my Edith Holden because I used some Edith Holden in that book. So I'll throw a scrap of Edith's text up here. Yeah, but I, if you can hear like a bunch of sounds, there's things going on in the background today. So I'm printing um, a potential digital kit. I'm, I'm, I just did sort of some concept art and stuff that, I, well, I didn't just do it. I've been working on it for like a several months now. Um, and I'm going to be starting a journal with what will hopefully become a new digital kit. If, if I like the way it turns out, I'm, I'm kind of picky about these things when they're my own designs. So, um, yeah, I want to, I want to make a journal with it first because I, well, first of all, the, the theme that's coming, it's just really got me inspired and I'm kind of like telling a little story here. So I need to tell that story myself before I send it out into the world. Um, so that's something coming. You'll hear more about it very soon. I'm sorry to give like a foreshadowing. <laughs> But yeah, so the printer is running over there. All right, I'm going to use my art glitter glue for these little bits just because it's easier and I don't get so sticky. I was going to store all these things away in my snippets and things, but I thought, well, why don't I put a few of them in here first before I store the rest away so that I remember kind of the feeling of Nedra and the book that I made. Um, so I'm going to, oops, did I hit you? Sorry about that. So I'm going to put Nedra and I will put April 2023. Um, and I'll put 1905 book because that's when Nedra was written or published rather. Um, what else, what else do I want to put on here? Some of these little tiny snips. I think my son upstairs is in need of a nap. I think he's a little bit cranky, but I'm not going to rush up quite yet. I'm going to go in a couple of minutes. I can hear him. <laughs> and the first thing I want to do is run up there, but I just want to finish this and then I will go up there. I have to sort things out anyways. I think I might... um. I like making, doing some baking or something. So not necessarily baking. I want to make something fruity. I don't know what I want to make though, but I feel like I just want some fresh fruity kind of refreshing thing. 
for today that I might see what I can get my kids to cooperate with me and make. I'm also going to make some, you've never heard of the book, Sunbread. You should. It's a children's book. It's a wonderful book about, you know, saying hello to the sun again and um, when the sun has come back after winter. And there's a lovely recipe for making the most beautiful bread called sun bread that looks like a little sun. It's very lovely. It's a book that I love using with my kids each year after the winter finally crawls away and you start to see the sun again. Okay, I'm going to put this on here because I don't need to keep all the text. I'm just going to keep a little bit of the text. And then I'll put one of these little labels because I used in the back of the book one of these little labels um, for my seal. So I want to try, and I don't know how, I, I don't know if I'll be consistent, but I'm going to try to be consistent in signing, dating, and maybe, maybe um, putting a wax seal in the back of my journals. I may not always put the wax seal. It will depend. They can add a bit of bulk, but they are nice. And it's like nice to put my, my Studio Lou wax seal in books. Um, whenever people buy journals from me, you always have the option to ask me like, can you sign and you know, will you sign this book and whatever. And people ask me that kind of thing all the time. So I often do, but um, I don't automatically do it. And I think I probably should. I think a lot of people prefer that. Um, also, like you're making your little mark on the world, right? By adding your signature to things. So it's like, if I look at it from the perspective of like what I would tell other people to do, then yeah, I would tell them to do that. But then I don't end up doing it myself. So I need to get better at that. Okay. Here we go. So this is mostly stuff from the graphics story because I did use a little bit from the graphics story, but I think the overall feel with the Edith Holden and a page from Nedra, that gives me that little sample of what I wanted to remember from doing this journal. So that's all I've got for now. Um, I'll probably come back with another little video on this sampler in a while. Um, I'll just I'll flip back a few pages just in case you haven't seen it this was cloudy with a chance of meatballs this was from the desk of morticia adams um norris stars that i recently made the moth keeper that was from some time ago the tree people these are digitals in my shop ginger lace that's a journal that's still in my shop actually um what is this Oh, that was my little yeah yeah that was my little list of for sand gran and the midnight party and then macaria okay so yeah that is today's work on this sampler and i'm happy to have done a little bit of work here so thank you for hanging out with me and i will be back again very soon bye for now